Our family programs here encompass our foster care program initiative, uh, where we're trying to make the foster care system more receptive to working with our families, our reproductive justice project, Causes in Common, and our services and support and networking um, and advocacy for LGBT families and people planning parenthood. So part of that support and information sharing process is what brings us here today. To help those of you who are planning families get the good information that you need to smooth the way. My son's best friends to this day are young men his age, 20-ish, born to two gay men through surrogacy. So this isn't new. The gay men creating families through surrogacy has stepped into the light increasingly over these past couple of decades. It's no longer a secretive or particularly private experience, but more a commonplace, normalized, affirming pathway to family formation. Now, many, many, many Center Kids families and families across the country have been created through this remarkable team approach to family formation. So today, I hope you'll get all the information you need in what we call our one-stop shopping surrogacy forum. But if you don't, if you need more answers and more support along the way, we have other services ongoing for you. And I want to invite up to speak about that Ron Poole Diane, who is our fearless leader for many years now of our Planning Biological Parenthood for Men support group that Center Kids runs here at the center. And Ron will tell you a little bit about our monthly gathering having to do with surrogacy. Uh, hi guys, just to uh, mention that uh, by now we have uh, four people uh, all together who are uh, rotating, facilitating a monthly group, which is going to start uh, this year, this uh, school year, on uh, October 28th, if I'm correct, it's the fourth Wednesday uh, of every uh, month. And so we have four people who have uh, somewhat uh, different experiences who are uh, rotating and facilitating us different backgrounds. We have a psychologist, we have a doctor uh, amongst us, we have people twins, singletons, people who use an agency or traditional surrogacy or independent surrogacy. So, and we also try to bring to the group a variety of different people and special guests every month. Uh, we, would some, we would have a doctor come, we usually do not have uh, agencies come to speak at, uh, at the group, but we definitely have uh, psychologists, uh, lawyers who speak about issues that you know, are, pertain to uh, what happens after the, after, uh, the babies are born. Uh, it's an opportunity to get into more details, uh, into things that are probably going to be a little overwhelming today for those of you who are hearing them for the first time. Uh, so surrogacy is a complicated, complicated, the biological parenting for, for men is a complicated matter. And it's not easy to cover everything in just one you know, uh, session, even if it's going to be a uh, long one. So uh, I encourage you to come. Parents come, even after they have children, sometimes they bring their babies to the group. And, uh, but often they, they come during the process and after the process to share their experiences. So it's an, it's an excellent opportunity. And let me just also, also mention that we have a Facebook group with about 70 people already. Uh, which you are welcome to join uh, and also post uh, questions and uh, comment on other people's uh, you know, co questions and comments uh, you know, between uh, So I hope to see you uh, in October. We usually have about uh, 20, even something, 30 people coming. So see you then. Thanks, Ron.